Hey Valentina, congratulations on your on your win. Uh, just what, after the whirlwind you faced in the, with Nico Montagna, how is how's it feel now to come here and become a champion at UFC 231? I was training so long for this moment. I training hard for this moment, and um, I'm very happy to get this fight. I'm very happy that because for me it's not just meaning the belt of UFC, it's meaning all my uh, hard work that I was doing in martial arts, all my sacrifice for my sport, what I love so much, and this is reflected in this belt. And uh, last question, uh, how impressed was you? Oh, a great victory, but how impressed were you with uh, Joanna's uh, performance too as well? Um, it was everything that I was expecting from Joanna. I knew it will be a good fight, it will be a tough fight, because she's a tough opponent. She's not the one who uh, give up easily, no. And uh, um, I would say that I'm happy to get the, this belt from this kind of fight, when you are facing real opponent, not just like any opponent, because um, when you get it from the real fight, only only this way you can prove that you are a real champion. Hi, Valentina, over here. Uh, how did this compare to your fights against Joanna in the past? I know it was a while ago, but you guys fought many times. How was tonight different or the same? Uh, you know, it's of course a little bit different because um, everything that we have to pass through all this week like all this pressure, not about only the fight, but media and every day to do your duty and um, not to lose your energy for the fight between all these days, what you have to do with like all this stuff, it, of course it's different. And uh, the atmosphere, the um, organization where we was fighting this, this night, of course it's like something uh, much bigger. But you know, like, uh, we did our fight in best Muay Thai promotion, now we are doing in best MMA promotion. And uh, it felt amazing for me, it's, there is like no much difference, just difference the size of gloves. You know, Ioana said that if she won this title, it would help her case for being the best female fighter of all time. Now that you've won, where do you think puts you among, you know, the best, not just in MMA, but in combat sports? You know, for me, important just do what I love to do, to do uh, my ma my martial arts and uh, compete and uh, to show my techniques, my skill, my speed, my power, everything. It's uh, not um, it depends of me what I will say, like how, where it will like lead me to be best or some kind like this. If people say okay, I'm agree with this, but I'm the one who wants to act not to speak. And the last thing, just, uh, you know, earlier in the evening, Jessica I, she beat uh, Caitlin Chukagian in a women's flyweight bout. Uh, it looks like she could be your first challenger, nothing official yet. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on that matchup? I know I don't care who will be my next opponent. I'm ready for anyone. And um, this is what I want to do, to defend the belt as much as I can. I'm healthy now. I didn't get, uh, like, any heart injuries. And... Um, just straight uh, go to the busy work again because I don't uh, like to spend the time and say okay I'm champion and I keep my belt for a year doing nothing just uh, saying hello to the media and like showing the belt no I want uh, action for me this is more important I had uh, to wait on um, the fights when it will happen with my opponents who were who was like holding the belt now I'm the champion. I can choose the date, and from it, it we will start everything. Valentina, over here. Congratulations. We're right here. Hey. Hey. Congratulations. Um, you mentioned that uh, you know you want to be active as a champion, and I know this year uh, you've had some fights uh, fall through. Are you looking to get back in there? You know, early 2019. Do you have sort of a date in mind as far as when when you want to make your first title defense? Uh, you know, I can say exactly, no one will uh, wait so long for my answer, but right now I don't want to say nothing because I want just enjoy, enjoy this night, enjoy my feelings and uh, just um, 
enjoy my victory with my team, with my family, and because it's not just my uh, work, it's everyone's work. My coach, Pavel Fedotov, was training me so hard, he was thinking only about like my preparation. My sister Antonina, she was preparing for her fight and also helping me. And of course, my, my manager, Roger, he did his work. And everyone is like a puzzle. And we are all together, uh, we are like a good team. <laughs> and you are the champion now, and I know the division's a little bit wide open. You mentioned your sister winning last week. Um, have you discussed with her at all if she keeps winning that, you know, would she have to move up a weight class? How would that work? Because I know obviously you won't fight, uh, you, you both won't fight each other. You know, my thoughts on it, I will keep this belt before she go all the way to the number one contender and then I will see what I'm gonna do because I still have unfinished business with my opponent in bantamweight. So I know exactly I never lost that fight and she knows that I sh that she is not was winner on that fight and uh, we'll see, we'll see. Just waiting for my sister when she climbs the wall. To number one. And, and last question on that note, you mentioned Amanda Nunes. Uh, did, she was here this week cornering uh, Nina Ansaroff. Did you see her? Did you speak to her at all this week? No, I didn't see her. And even I, if, if I would see her, I there is no reason for me to speak with her. Hey, uh, Valentina. You know, do you feel like Joanna maybe was overlooking you? You was talking about uh, breaking Rousey's record. She was so excited about that for title matches. Um, and she was also already talking about going after the straw weight belt as well. Did you feel disrespected going into this fight and, and maybe, you know, some validation having taken her down after all that? Um, you know, I can say about Joanna she, that she's a very dedicated fighter. And um, she's really professional but in what she's doing. And even if she's like speaking something, she's very concentrated in, in, on her fights and on her performance. And it was a very good fight because she put everything that uh, she could put from her side to the fight. She did everything to win it, but only the reason I was stronger. And um, this is it, this is it. Like I said before, I'm uh, more happy to get the belt from this kind of fight than from opponents who are like, just don't think uh, that this is her <coughs> passion in the life. Congratulations on becoming the second ever flyweight champion of the UFC. Would you consider giving the first champion a title shot? Who's that? That answers my question. <laughs> uh, Valentina, in, in, the, in tonight's performance, it was like a universal performance. It was not just striking. It was like you were doing those creative kicks. You were taking her down. Can you talk about the strides you've made even in the last year to become the fighter that you were tonight? Um, it's everything that we are doing. My coach, Pavel, he's um, very um, versatility coach and he's looking for uh, every single moment that I can face on my fight and we are working on it. And of course I'm a mixed martial arts, arts fighter. I'm not just striker, I'm not just grappler and I was saying it like every single time. I will do everything what will help me to win the fight. Of course, I before the fight, this fight, I saw it like more happening, striking, more striker. But you know, when it's uh, come to the action, you just um, your body have to decide what to do. And um, like my body knows what how to act, and it's choose this way. Uh, because sometimes like uh, you cannot put too much mind in the fight you know, only when you are um, like so tired that you cannot continue the power of your mind will tell you like go on doesn't matter never give up yeah and uh, I'm very happy to have Pavel as my coach because with him I feel like um, he's given me so much on the training that I never will have any troubles on the real fight and lastly, knowing your own competitive fire, do you expect the fight against Amanda sooner rather than later? I expect it. I cannot say uh, when, but of course it will happen. Because, like I said, I not lost that fight, and she knows it. Everyone good?